Okay, since your lesson today is just a review of multiplying fractions times whole numbers and whole numbers times fractions, what I want to do is today is I want to focus on comparing factors and products. Sometimes you're going to be given a question and it might say, will your product be larger or smaller than your factors? Or will your product be larger than your whole number? And well, how are you supposed to know that if you're not doing the actual work. So here is some tips on what you can do in order to answer those kinds of questions. So comparing factors and products. Now, if we remember, and I'm going to do a quick review, is a factor are two numbers that we multiply. Two numbers we multiply. Okay, and the product is the answer. The answer to a multiplication problem. Okay, so we have our factors are our two numbers that we multiply together. And our products are the answers to the multiplication problem. So these are the two words that we're going to be comparing in this lesson. So here are some rules to follow. Number one. Any number times one will always be that number. Also, it could also be a fraction equivalent to one. For example, like four fours. So not just one, any fraction that's equivalent to one, like four fourths, three thirds, two seconds, any number over itself equals one, it will always equal that number. Okay, so for example, I'll go down here and do this one example. Six times four fourths will always equal six because one, that is one, six times one is six. So it'll always equal that number. My second rule here is a fraction. times a mixed number or improper fraction this will always the product which is the answer the product and let's move this up here because we can't read it the product will always be greater greater than the fraction. And that is because a mixed number improper fraction is more than one. So if I'm multiplying a fraction by one, it should be that fraction. But if I'm multiplying by a number that is more than one, then it's going to be more than that fraction. So here's an example. One fourth times five halves or 
This would be two and a half. This is going to end up being more than four. So this answer will be more than a quarter or one fourth. Now when we multiply this across, it would be five eighths. Now five eighths is more than one fourth because if I do an equivalent fraction, it would be two eighths. So five eighths is more than one fourth. Now I'm gonna go over here to my next and my next and final rule is if the first factor or fraction is less than one, the product will be less than the second factor. Now, why is that? That is because, remember when we talked about yesterday, when I have a fraction, let's do our example here, when I have a fraction in front of a number such as, let's see, two-fifths times three, I'm saying two-fifths of three, so two-fifths of three is going to be a small portion or fraction of three. So it's going to be smaller than the second number. Now, if I do it with a fraction as well, it's going to do the same thing. We just haven't done fractions yet. So when I multiply across six-fifths, this answer is going to be less should be less than three. And this would be one and one fifth. One and one fifth is less than three. So these are the rules that you should follow to compare factors. Let me put that over there. Let me go over this one more time. So six fifths should be less than three. And it is, it's one and one fifth.